Hi everyone, it's Andrea with the Hippie Art Studio. Today I am bringing to you one of my mixed media experiments. I bought this PBO paint. It's mixed media paint and I wanted to try it out and kind of have some fun with it. So here I'm showing you some of the things I picked up. I picked up a mixed media discovery kit which gives you the three different kinds of paint. It's got the vitriol, the moon, and the prism. And then I also picked up some of the droppers and another another big container and the relief um, which is kind of like how you can do like stained glass effect but my tube didn't work out so you'll you'll see that later so I'm just going through all the colors that came in the mixed media discovery kit and the colors on the packaging is not accurate with the colors that actually came in mine I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or if it was an oops but I ended up with a couple different colors and then it also came with this black ceramic um, paint. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Like I said, this was all about playing. I bought these and just wanted to see what they did because I saw the display at Michael's. So I decided to start with the moon and I'm just playing around in my art journal and I started using a brush and at Michael's they had a display that um, you could feel and see all the different effects and the moon gives you this really cool like hammered kind of look to it you can kind of see it starting to develop there when I zoom in and I'm trying to get it to focus so you can see it, but it's not really working. And it really wasn't it really wasn't working out for me. So I'm just labeling that that is the PBO moon so that I know when I go back to look through my journal what all I used on this page. And then I decided to use the prism or prism. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Either way. So I throw it over here on the side and it's got a blue and a gold, a gold kind of color. And they actually react differently when you layer them over one another um, than they do otherwise. And I accidentally got some water on there, <laughs> so I'm dabbing that off. Um, So I'm I'm trying to get get it to work and I'm really disappointed actually while I was working on this piece. I realized in the middle of working on this that I really should have done a little bit more research onto what exactly these paints do and how to get them to work. Um, they work a lot better when you just pour them onto the onto your piece versus applying them with a brush because they really require a thick layer to get the correct effects. But I didn't know that and I was just playing around. And I think they turned out pretty cool anyway. I will add that if you decide to go and pick these up to play around with, that they are oil based, which I was unaware of and you don't want to do it in your journal because it totally soaked right through my paper. This is me trying to get that relief stuff to work because the vitriol, vitrol, or like I said, I don't know how to pronounce these names, I'm sorry, um, is like a, it's, it's really liquidy and thin and once it dries, it actually gives you kind of a glass effect. So the relief stuff, Carnet relief stuff, is so that you can do like stained glass looks. And I don't know what was up with my tube. Like we cut this sucker all apart trying to get this stuff out and it would not come out. So I don't know if the tube sat too long or 
what the deal with it was. So, yeah, I, I end up giving up on that. And um, I'm like, well, I'll just throw some clear gesso down, but give it kind of a, a raised effect so that it'll hold the vitriol inside of it. And that's what I end up doing. Um, yeah, so this experiment was kind of funky. Uh, I definitely didn't get the results I was desiring, but I still want to continue to play around with these paints a little bit more. They've got some really cool effects that you can get with them. And when you, when you layer them over the different kinds of paint, so if you take the moon and you put it over the prism, or you take the vitriol and you put it over the prism or the moon, you get some really, really cool effects. So they're definitely something I would recommend you pick up and play with. It just takes quite a bit of experimenting in my opinion. So, here's the vitrails. And this is where those eyedroppers came really in handy. And you can see that the colors mix super beautiful. I love the way they end up looking. And you can, you can already see how it looks like liquid glass there. So cool. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it to spread out more. I really didn't want to dump the whole container. I'm sorry. That's, that's really expensive paint to end up using a whole container on one piece. So here's where I start to get a little bit more experimenty. I throw it over there on those other kinds of paint, the moon and the prism. And I'm just kind of pulling it out so that I can see how the different paints react with one another. And I will show you a picture at the end of the video of how this piece ended up looking. And yeah, so take some time and go experiment with something. <laughs> I'll see you guys again next time. Ta-ta for now.